Look, it's my birthday today. I am 49 years old today. And I'm happy to be alive. Um, I wanted to do a video today on does the resume fit the job requirements? That's the question. Does the resume fit the job requirements? Now, when I talk about the resume and job requirements, the first thing people are gonna think is, it's about a job or employment. But sometimes I think we need to take relationships and look at them like a job interview. Like you're not letting the person know that it's a job interview when you meet them and start to get to know them. But in the back of your mind, it's like a job interview. Because if you're looking to meet someone and get involved with them on a long-term basis in a committed relationship, it's a commitment. It's a, it's a contract. It's a lifetime um, commitment and you have to know certain things about the person and the person needs to know things about you. And so when you look at the person's resume, their background, their lifestyle, how they live, how they think, what their morals are, what their values are, you have to look at the resume and see if that person's resume fit the job requirement and the job requirement is being your partner. And so it goes both ways. Whether you're male or female, you can do this. And some of us may say, well, don't judge me by my past. But in some cases, you have to judge a person by their past because when you go on to an actual job interview for an actual job, you have to bring your resume and tell them about your past experience on other jobs and what you qualified to do, what your skills are, what your trade is, um, what your work experience is, how long you've been working, um, your job references. Are there people can that can vouch for you as a worker on a job? These are the things that are on your resume. So when you go and, and seek out a relationship with someone, it's like in my mind, I'm thinking that would be a good way to go about it is to treat that relationship in the beginning when you're getting to know the person as a, as a resume to see if you and that person can be compatible. Now, in order to judge a person according to their resume, as we are talking about in this case, you must have standards. You must have morals and values. You must have boundaries. So if you're interviewing someone and you have boundaries and standards, there are certain things that you require and there are certain things that you will not tolerate. And so you need to know what this other person's boundaries are and what they will tolerate and what they won't tolerate. Or even if they have boundaries, because some people don't have any rules and boundaries about their life. And so they don't want you to judge them because they don't have any boundaries and they expect you not to have any boundaries. For example, a person might meet you and want to know how many partners you have been intimate with before you met them. Some would say, well, that's none of your business. And some would give a number of how many people they have been intimate with or been in a relationship with before them. And then they use that to judge you and to say, well, you're not good enough for me. But yet you 
you'll find out that they were intimate with more than more than the people more numbers of people than you have but they're judging you on your past and looking down on you because of the amount of people you were intimate with before you was with them but you can't judge them according to how many people they were intimate with before they met you and you can't it, it, it doesn't work like that and then you have some people who okay the other person looked down on you for the amount of intimate relationships you had in your past but then you accept them with the amount of people that they um, was intimate with in their past and throughout the whole relationship the two of you are arguing and going back and forth and having negative feelings because you're accepting this person with all of their baggage from their past but they refuse to accept you for all your baggage on, on your side from your past and it causes conflict because you didn't sit down at the table and look at each other's resume and have some understanding. If this person is not going to accept your resume and your baggage and your past, then it's not fair to accept theirs if they're not going to be okay with, with, with you. If they're going to use it to judge you the whole relationship according to what you did in your past, then there's always going to be conflict in the relationship. So I think it's best to, to, to sit down and look at the resume in the beginning of the person's past and your past and have an understanding. Some people say, well, I met the person. I like the person. I didn't ask them about their past. They didn't ask me about mine. Don't ask. Don't tell. It wasn't important to me. I just want to get to know this person from this point forward. I think that that that's a, a, a mature way to go about it. Where you start from scratch and you and that person just get to know each other and move forward. But there are some things in a person's past that if you get to know, you will find out what type of person that person really is. And so I feel that it would be good to do a resume to talk to the person and get to know who that person is before you get involved with them and have standards, morals, values, have, have, it's a way that I want to, I want to explain it. Um, have limits for, for instance, like there's certain things that if a person do, it's a, it's a done deal for you. There's no compromising that you're done with the relationship, you're moving on with your life. There are certain things that you have to let be known that under no circumstances, if this occur in the relationship, then I'm done with it. You have to have limits. You have to have boundaries. You can't just say, okay, we're just going to live and that person just do whatever they want and I do whatever I want. Don't judge me and I won't judge you. It, it, that kind of relationship usually never lasts. I must tell you, that usually never lasts. So when people say, oh, don't judge me by my past, you do have to sometimes judge a person by their past. And, 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 and you do need to do a resume just like you would for a job to see what, 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 what that person experience is and, 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 and what their, what their reputation is. If so, you know what you're getting into with them. The, the people who deal with credit, they, they, they need a background check. When you go for a job, they do a background check. If you need some credit, you have to do a background check. You have to have some type of, of, of proof of income. They need to know that you're punctual, that you're on time to work. If you're going for a job, they need to know that, you, oh, how many years have you been on this job? Um, five years. 
10 years. Okay, well that lets me know that you're reliable and you're you're you know and, 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 and you're punctual and you're you come to work on time, you're reliable. I can count on you for a couple of years. I don't have to worry about hiring you and then in a few months you're gonna uh, um, um, quit on me or you're gonna always be late to work and, and, and it's hard for my other workers to go home because you can't come to work and relieve them of their assignment. That's, that's how they do it when you go to a job interview and I think that people should do the same thing when they're interviewing for a relationship, when they're getting into a, a contract with someone. It's, it, it, it took me years to learn some of the things that I'm sharing with everybody. And I'm saying, wow, look at all of the mistakes I made in my past in relationships or even how to approach going about getting to know someone. It's like my approach was all wrong. And I'm just sharing some of the experience that I've had with other people because it might help them they might have might be doing the same thing and I always say to myself why am I doing this it's like I'm doing the same thing and expecting a different result and I couldn't figure out where I was making a mistake and a lot of times we go into things with our heart instead of with our mind you have to approach it with your mind first and then fall in love with it if you see that it fits your life. But we tend to sometimes do the opposite and fall in love first. And then our mind gets clouded and we, we, we're not focused on what's really important. This is Marie's message. It's my birthday today. And I'm going to have a good day. And I hope you all have a good day as well. Until next time. Bye.